Well, for the first time ever, I believe, I'm actually doing a video of myself talking about the UFL. And this is, I'm planning on doing a video for every single quarter of the 2017 UFL season, as we're now four weeks in, so this is the first quarter report. And I gotta say, there's a lot of surprising things that's happened so far this um, first four weeks of the season. So let's go take a look at the standings. So here is the standings after four weeks, and those numbers at the end of each team, well, some of the teams in each division are their playoff scenes, which I'll get to in a bit, but so far, as we can see in the Eastern Midwest, uh, Minnesota Tundra still leads at 4-0. and With matter of fact, I think they have the number one defense right now, allowing just 46 points. St. Louis Rockets right behind by a game at 3-1. and The Detroit Drivers at 2-2, two and, two, and last is the Indiana Brewers at 1-3. And in the Eastern Central, the Tampa Bay Cyclones, number one still as well, 4-0. And Memphis Warhawks, ugh, what an awful loss they had against Miami last week, as Miami is right behind them. Matter of fact, that should, that's incorrect. Miami should be on um, second seed over Memphis since they beat them, so I don't know how that appeared. But anyways, after that, Houston and Bulls is right behind them, dead last at 1-3. Then in the Eastern Atlantic, the Washington Colts still 3-1 and one in number one seed there, although they suffered that terrible loss to Baltimore last week. Hopefully that loss wasn't so bad they won't be able to recover from. And then Buffalo Terriers second at 2-2. Two and two. The Baltimore Bashers at 1-2-1. One, and one. and the Pittsburgh Titans supposedly may have been like one of the better teams in the league. 0-4 oh so far. Ugh, definitely a disappointing season so far. And then, of course, in the Eastern Pacific, the Seattle Cougars... Disappointed that they couldn't beat Utah, but still technically undefeated, although they can't go for the un un perfect record now at 3-0-1. Oakland Magic right behind at 3-1. The Utah Eagles still haven't won a game, but they're 0-3-1. And, and the winless Anaheim Rockies at 0-4. And, and then in Western Midwest, we have Cincinnati, number one once again at 3-1. The Green Bay Comets, how about that disappointing start they had? Now they're 2-1-1 and they're in the playoffs at the moment with the Kansas Engineers. Definitely disappointing for them to um, start off 2-2, two two, especially when they had that 17-0 lead in the first quarter against Green Bay on Sunday night last week, and they just blew it like that. And the Canton Greats dead last in that division at 1-3. And, and the Western Central is the Columbia Marines at 3-1. The New Orleans Sharks at 2-2. Two two. All of a sudden, they're coming out of nowhere. The Jackson Boxers. Oh, God. They're playing awful. And they're like the be second bet. They're tied with Washington as the best team in the league. And they're 2-2? Two and two? And they're playing terribly, especially when they're on the road. Oh, my goodness. And then Atlanta Suns. Oh, my God. What a loss they took against Columbia last week at 1-3. And, and then how about this when we get to um, Western Atlantic? The Philadelphia Pythons. 4-0 with the number one offense. They've scored on almost four, uh, almost 40 points a game at this rate. They're scoring over 30 points so far each week. That is unbelievable. And right behind them is the New York Kings at 3-1. Oh, boy. I can't wait for those two to go up against each other in the season. And, of course, the lowly Boston Cruisers and Montreal Quebecs finishing out at 0-4 in their division. And then we get to the Western Pacific, the Lubach Pilots. Wow, that's really surprising. They're 3-1, and one, but they have the number one offense in the league, on paper at least, yet they're not getting any points whatsoever. They're getting less than 20 points a game. That's pretty bad for supposedly number one offense, although they seem to have a really good defense, though, so that's really saving them. The Denver Talons, after that upset victory against Lubach last week, is 2-2. Two and two. And Los Angeles Stars, they're supposed to be 2-2. Two and um, two. I don't know why the um, record didn't get updated yet, but that's the actual correct record, 2-2. Two and two. And then Phoenix Dust Devils, last place in their division, at 1-3. and three. So anyways, in those scenes, I've mentioned this already, but the scenes are the playoff scenes. So in the Eastern Conference, Tampa Bay and Seattle, I mean, no, Tampa Bay and Minnesota have the buys, with um, Seattle hosting Oakland and Washington hosting St. Louis. Just like in the Western Conference, it's Philadelphia and Columbia with the buys. Cincinnati would host Green Bay, and New York would, I mean, Lubach would host New York. I know it's Los Angeles still hasn't gotten their um, scene updated, too. still says that, so I have no idea how that happened. But they're out of the playoffs, so that's what the playoffs would be at the season of the day. And my prediction, I think right now after four weeks, 
Oh my God, it's really difficult. It will be. I think it'll be Tampa Bay and Philadelphia in the the title game. But oh my God, I can't really decide who would win. Tampa Bay's strong defense or Philadelphia's like unstoppable offense. Although I do align more with um, defense wins all the time. But Philadelphia's offense, they're playing like so well. Whereas Tampa Bay, a lot some of their games have been kind of close. Whereas Philadelphia's have been all blown outs pretty much. So I guess maybe Philadelphia would rely more on for the um, title at the moment. So that is it for the first half report. As the next one will be after week 8. And also I've already simulated week 5. I just have yet to make the um the um slides for any of the t um week games yet. So be on the lookout for that soon. And hopefully you're enjoying P um, the UFL.